If you've been living under a rock, you may have missed that the Queens County High School women's wrestling team are state champions. And we brought one of the individual state champions here, Allie, and coach John Waters. Guys, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Yeah, it's been a while, right? It's been like a month since the event. Yeah, yeah just about. Has it worn off? Are you still excited? It's worn off a little for me. I'm still just like going back into my normal life. <laughs> back before, back before you were state champion. Just trying to focus on school and then yeah. also starting to work and stuff. Yeah. Coach, I know it's, it never ends for you, right? No, it's exciting. I mean, trying to um, do things like this so the community hears about it and let everybody know how hard everybody worked. Um, you know, that's, that's the fun part. So it hasn't really worn off because I, this past weekend I was at a couple of events, hadn't seen people in a while. Right. So they're like, hey, how'd it go? And there's just, so it really doesn't stop. Yet. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's, it's fun. Cool. Well, let's tell the people, because it sounds great, state champions, but it's more than that. This was historic. Yes. So tell us the story. Hey. So <laughs> this was the first time in the state of Maryland that they recognized women's wrestling as a sport. Right. And it was the first time that they had um, a team title um, at the state tournament, which you have to qualify at regionals to get there. So um, we were fortunate enough to qualify 12 wrestlers. And um, we just had, I mean, it was an amazing run, you know, something that we weren't really expecting. When Dave comes on here a little bit, he'll he'll give you a good story. He'll, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. he'll, he'll hit the we'll, bus we'll, trip. We'll dig in a little bit deeper on him. So what's it like? You were there at the beginning. A couple of years ago, you were a freshman. Yeah. You started with this team. What's it like growing over the three years and now being team state champ? Just seeing like all the girls that have come into the program and seeing them come back and just all of us growing in the room and stuff. Like you can see like every day at practice, like they get a little bit better. Yeah. And you're just like, hey, you did that move really well. Like once they get it in their head, everyone can do it really good. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, is there, is there a little sadness in you that you're the last one now, right? From that original group, you're going into your senior year. Yep. Sadness or excitement that you're going to keep carrying it a little bit longer? I'm sad, but I'm also like, I'm okay with it because I know I can come back to it yeah. and like coach or be assistant coach or something like oh, that. Yeah, totally. The... What, what's, going, what's going through your mind right there in that picture? A lot of holy cow. My right mind, I didn't think that, you know, we'd reach the pinnacle in, in three years. I mean, I thought it'd be a decade, 15 years to yeah. pull it off. 14 girls last year was a big jump and I figured, okay, we got 22 this year. You know, like Coach John said, we could maybe do something like put together a pretty decent dual record, you know, um, but then getting into the state tournament and then just what they did dual wise in the season going undefeated, um, just really kind of started putting the thought of oh, maybe we can do something at the state tournament. So coach, it's crazy because it feels like it was just yesterday. Me and you got to talk when it was just a meet yes. at the school. <laughs> and it was the first ever women's meet. And yes. We've come so far so fast. How crazy is this? Yeah, I mean, it's it's still crazy to think that it was, you know, a year ago we had the first dual meet, yeah. you know. Thankfully for John Lowe for coming out and letting us, you know, having the matches for us. And, uh, you know, this year I, I started to get frustrated just trying to find other teams for the girls to get matches. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we ended up with, uh, was it seven regular season duels? Um, and even those, some of them we had to piece together at the last minute. Uh, but just kind of, it shows the growth of the sport yes, um, yeah, kind of totally. across the state. Uh, and, you know, even in our community, it's it's starting to grow. I mean, the, just from, we've got a couple of girls in middle school who've never wrestled before, but mm -hmm. they've come out and watched Alley and watched the girls in duels. And, you know, their moms have posted on Facebook, like they're sitting there watching and telling their moms, like, I'm going to do this next year. Like, I want to go do it. And they've never done it before, but right. they're you know, they're inspiring the younger generation, which That's is super exciting. Well, coach, yeah. you've done an amazing job with this program all Thank around. You. The coaches have done an amazing job. You've had amazing young women that we've got to yeah. interview. They've all been class acts and they've all been amazing on the mat. So I can't thank you enough for joining us. I can't uh -huh. wait to hopefully do this exact same interview next year. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank you for joining us today, guys.